Now to Washington and the fallout from the House Select Committee's third public hearing on the, de on the deadly January 6th insurrection. Yesterday's proceedings focused on former President Donald Trump's efforts to pressure his vice president, Mike Pence, to block the certification of the 2020 election. ABC's Jay O'Brien reports from Washington. In their third public hearing, the House Select Committee investigating the January 6th Capitol riot, outlining the danger former Vice President Mike Pence was in after rejecting Donald Trump's repeated requests that he block the certification of Joe Biden's Electoral College victory. Mike Pence is not going to reject. Showing the mob who had already breached the Capitol reacting to Trump's tweet that Pence lacked the courage to stop the certification. Pence came, we're gonna drag oh. through the streets. The committee revealing Pence came within 40 feet of rioters before he was rushed to this secure loading dock underneath the Capitol. Did Donald Trump ever call the vice president to check on his safety? He did not. The committee also read claims from an informant in the Proud Boys who said they would have killed Pence and Speaker of the House Nancy Pelosi if they had found them. Make no mistake about the fact that the vice president's life was in danger. Former Judge Michael Luddick saying the country came close to losing its democracy. Would have been the first constitutional crisis since the founding of the Republic. John Eastman, the conservative attorney who drafted the Trump campaign's plan to overturn the election, tried to rationalize his thinking to the vice president's legal counsel. And he said, absolutely. Al Gore did not have a basis to do it in 2000. Kamala Harris shouldn't be able to do it in 2024. But I think you should do it today. Later, Eastman allegedly asked Trump lawyer Rudy Giuliani for help in securing a presidential pardon. The committee's next hearing is Tuesday, focusing on state and local officials who stood up to pressure from Trump and his supporters to overturn the election results. Jay O'Brien, ABC News, Washington.